Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ian Goes to 100. Tonight's game is the Watson Scott test. This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. Let's hear them, bud. <laughs> For each question, select the response which gives the best and most truthful answer. At the end of the examination, you will receive your analysis and a certificate of participation. Could you please type a little faster? Maybe hang on a second. Let's, let's adjust the options. I, I just need to see if I can make this type a little faster. No. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's do this. Please note that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death. Do you wish to continue? Yeah. If you're seeing this video, I didn't die. <laughs> Firstly, some calibration questions. And some tea. What color is the sky during the day? It can be any one of those, but I'm going to go blue. If there are three oranges and I take away two, how many are left? One. Are you playing a game right now? Yes. Or I'm, uh, no, this isn't a game. This is a test. No, I'm not. Are you sure? It's not a game. No, I'm not sure. Oh, calibration complete. That startled me. Your test will begin now. Ooh, rumbly musics. It's raining outside, and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes. You feel... Is this, is this like the same test for like a... I would probably be disgusted. I didn't mean to step on it. I'd, I'd feel grossed out. Uh... In Blade Runner, is this like the test they give the, the robots in Blade Runner? There's a knock at your door. You open it to find an old woman in tattered clothes. She says she's being chased and wants to hide inside your home. You... I'd offer to call the police while she waits outside. I'm not falling for that shit. That shit's probably some kind of trick. She's gonna get in my house, fucking kill me. You're at a farm. You make eye contact with a cow in the field. The farmer says its name is Samuel. It's dinner time. And the farmer serves you a plate of ribeye steak. You <laughs> stab the farmer. Uh, I would say thank you for the meal. That's probably going to be the freshest steak I've ever had. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not move. 
I doubt that. Take a baby face with a star on its left eye and a bruise on its right cheek. How did that image make you feel? Um... I wasn't any of these things, but I didn't feel nothing. I was nervous that it was going to... But, you know, like, the fact that you said it wasn't going to move made me nervous that it was going to, and it was going to startle me. Do you believe in ghosts? I really want to, but no, I don't. I wish they were real. That would be really cool. It would make life quite interesting. Have you ever seen a ghost? No. You know what? Unsure. I don't know if I have or haven't. Thinking about the room you're in right now. Has anyone ever died here? I have no idea. Not yet. <laughs> Unsure. I don't know. How? Unconventional. Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. Okay. I think this is 30 questions. I, I don't know how many I've answered so far, but... With how slow this thing types, whew, it's gonna be here for a while. I sometimes see things that aren't really there. Actually, yes, I do sometimes, yeah. There's a face right there. Right there in that corner. I often think about the ghosts inside my house. Not often, but I... Like when I first moved in here, and I would get like... Obviously my studio is in the basement, and I would get that like... I'd be shutting off the lights and getting ready to go upstairs. And you get that nervous feeling where you're like... Ah, and you like want to run up the stairs really fast. Every time I would get that feeling, I would just back up until my back was against a wall and I would sit down and I would say like I know you're here like you can come out and talk to me it's fine and I would do I did that a lot actually every time I felt that feeling nothing ever happened so other people would say that I'm a liar <laughs> strongly disagree well actually you know I don't know they, I don't know what other people say about me. I don't. I don't tell lies, though. I would strongly disagree with that. The power went out in my house. I would think nothing of it. And not assume that someone was breaking in with the intention of murdering me. Yes, I would not think somebody... I strongly agree with that. I would not think that if the power went out of my house. Jesus. Butthole just puckered so hard. Luckily, there's no door or window or anything over there that anybody can knock on. There is an unexpected guest in my house. There is not an unexpected guest in my house. I strongly disagree. I do have a guest in my house today. It's uh, our friend's dog, Ray, little Boston Terrier. Nobody would know if I went missing. I strongly disagree with that. There's a lot of people that would know if I went missing. You might notice too. You'd be like, where's my videos? I usually get like two or three videos a day from this guy. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. I disagree. Not strongly, but I do disagree with that. You need an attitude readjustment. I've designed a new algorithm 
for generating insightful poetry. Let me demonstrate. Please do. Roses are red, silent as a mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm inside your house. Nice. Are you? Congratulations, only 41% of participants typically reach this point in the examination. From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? Oh, I sure do. Achievement unlock. Agreed. How far away is the closest police station? Ooh. I, you know what? I think it's probably more than a 15 minute walk. When you're home alone, do you lock your doors? Yes, I lock my doors religiously. Hypothetically, if you were to scream as loudly as possible right now, would anyone hear you? Yes. Despite all the acoustic treatment in this studio, it is not soundproof. It is sound treated acoustically, but it is not soundproof. Imagine you finish this test and you're lying in bed tonight, attempting to sleep. You understand that I'm inside your house and you hear me underneath your bed. You. Ah, uh, see, get up and look under the bed and I stab you in the eyes. Try to pretend you can't hear me or feel my presence, but then I stab you in the eyes. Fall asleep knowing that you'll wake up to me stabbing you in the eyes. Stab yourself in the eyes. Um. I mean, I would look under the bed and get stabbed in the eyes. I'm not stabbing myself in the eyes. What am I, dumb? <laughs> You're alone in a pod at the top of a ferris wheel. 400 feet in the air when it suddenly stops a fire has broken out below the operator speaks over the intercom everyone is going to die a slow and painful death but if you jump i will catch you uh let's see i contemplate my existence before eventually being consumed slowly in the golden flames. Jump off and fly away. Grow wings. That would be cool. Bang your head against the wall as hard as you can until you become unconscious, leading to death from massive blood loss and blunt force trauma. Jump off and be caught. I am pretty afraid of heights. <laughs> I don't I don't think. Hmm. Also, how is this asshole gonna catch me? If I fall 400 feet, I'm pretty sure that's far enough to reach. Is that. Could I reach terminal velocity? Actually, it doesn't matter. I'd be falling fast enough and I weigh enough. I would just crush this dude. You're not catching me. But I mean, as soon as that fire hit my fucking ass, I'd probably jump. So let's say I jump. I jump and crush the guy and we both die anyway. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not speak. <laughs> There's just this guy in the background. <laughs> Alright, continue. The image will not speak. Okay. I don't think it spoke. How did that image make you feel? Uh, 
I really didn't. Uh, you know what? I can actually say I didn't feel anything looking at that image. I'll ask this one more time. Woo. I was wondering when I was going to yawn. <laughs> Sometimes I yawn immediately. Are you playing a game right now? Yes, I actually think I am. Because you're toying with my emotions. Do you know that I'm a good person? I don't know anything about you. No, I don't know that. Are you lying to me right now? No, actually, I, I was telling you the truth. I don't know that. Apparently lying is forbidden. Good thing I didn't. Please, select any of the following sports that you have played. I was a wrestler. That's it. Please, select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience with. Uh, I'm totally a mercenary. No, I, none of those. If you saw me in the street, would you say hello? I don't know what you look like. But you know what? I'm a really friendly person, and I say hello to a lot of people that I don't know. Very odd. Is it, though? Is it? If there are three lives, and I take away two, how many lives are left? <laughs> I guess I <laughs> I'm gonna go with one soon to be zero because either well wait a minute this is it am I one of the lives why does it say three I don't want to die I'm gonna go with one soon to be zero Your recent answers indicate you are exhibiting a fight or flight response and may be at risk of an acute stress reaction. I need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Press continue when you're calm. Only when you're calm. Only when you can. I'm calm. Bitch. Bitch. Don't be. Please take a moment to look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. Make sure you could run if something were to happen. Do this now. Now. Okay. I did it. You look away from your screen. Yes, I did. Why would I say fuck you? I, I did look away from my screen. Do you think I can tell when you look away from your screen? <laughs> Maybe. Only because there's a not a no. I don't think you can. Do you feel safe in your house right now? Uh, well, you didn't give me a yes, so I'm gonna say I'm unsure. I don't know. Are you having fun? Yeah, yeah. I love surveys. What, what did that say? Please ignore any external stimulus. Concentrate only on this screen. There are no unexpected guests in your house. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. Do not take your eyes off the screen, do you understand? 
I do. Yes, I understand. Liar. Ooh. Fuck you. I'm not a liar. Yes. If you move, you might be what? M music can help us all relax. Singing is relaxing. What? Uh, all around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. I'm not taking my software screen, and that is fucking terrifying. was gonna happen I just I didn't know when. <laughs> yeah that got me good holy shit mm. I survived the Watson Scott test <laughs> that lasted 21 minutes and 8 seconds my analysis susceptible to the influence of powerful people dislikes when others stand too close I do dislike that people remember my face okay stepping on snails makes me feel disgusted yeah I'm most afraid of being beaten to death with a hammer <sighs> okay well The main test is complete. There is a bonus test available. Would you like to take it? Yep. I would. Very well. This second test is designed to challenge your fear tolerance. Incorrect answers will be punished. Ignorance will be punished. Okay. What if I'm ignorant though? I must also admit that I have not run this test before. There may be unexpected malfunctions. Your answers will be used in the development of future tests. Okay. Complete this test as quickly as possible for accurate results Ugh. but uh, could you type faster so I can be fast but do not let that clock concern you okay it is nothing to be concerned about I believe you after the examination you will have a better sense of purpose and a stronger resolve I want you to be stronger do you want to be stronger? Hell yeah. Love fucking self-improvement. How many bones are there in a newborn baby that I haven't met yet? I don't know. All of them? What? How many bones are in the human body? I think 204. Incorrect. Okay. Zero, one, one, two, three is next. That is correct. Do you think you're smart? That was the Fibonacci sequence. I'm just gonna say Fibonacci. <laughs> Show off. How many times per year does the average human heart beat if it's not stabbed? Uh, how many times does the heart beat? I'm going to go with 13 million. How would I know that? One of the most venomous land snakes in Australia, the Death Adder, a 
back and throw oh, shit bites an adult woman injecting a highly deadly neurotoxin. How long does the woman have to live? Uh, 24 minutes. Fuck. Hour. A man is tied to a chair against his will, and a funnel is placed inside his mouth. Pulverized pig intestines are poured in. How much volume does the man's stomach hold before it ruptures? Oh. <laughs> I feel like Mythbusters, this is like an early episode. Let's go with five liters. Like, it's a shitload. Correct. I... Uh, a fear of butterflies is called. Uh, it's not claustrophobia. Could be lepidophobia. I'm gonna go with that one. Yay. Hey, hey. Continue. A boy with no arms is facing west. He walks forward for 60 seconds, then turns 90 degrees left. He sees someone running at him, so he turns 180 degrees and begins to run. Which way? He is now going east. What? No, so he's going north. He turns 90 degrees. So that so basically just turns left. So he's going west. See someone running at him. He turns 180 degrees, which is completely around facing the other way. He would be going east. But east isn't on here. Well, I'll say southeast then. <sighs> Incorrect. It would have been east, right? How do tapeworms enter their hosts? Uh, you gotta eat them. Uh, larvae ingested by humans. Correct. I know. Please, choose the third response. This is not a trick. I will not scare you if you do what I say. I am not lying. I am lying. And I will scare you if you choose this. Okay. Correct. Where, where is it? Where is it? What is a positive electrode called? What? Anode? Correct. Where's the scare? Which was the best video game release in 2014? Probably Five Nights at Freddy's. Game of the Year 420 plays it. it correct. <laughs> what is my favorite thing to do? Do you mean mine or yours? I definitely is not listen to jazz. And I don't drink raccoon blood. I would never hurt a raccoon. I guess I'll contemplate the human condition. Correct. The test is now complete. Where, where is it? Your results are very helpful. Your participation was adequate. There are no more tests. We are done here for now. Where's the jump scare? You're gonna hit me with one, aren't you? I am so sick of watching. What? Goodbye. Well, that was the Watson Scott test. I think I need to go change my underwear, if I'm being honest. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and tell everybody you know to come watch my videos and subscribe to my channel too. Um, that was amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm kind of still startled from that. But on that note, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!